Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks very much for your patience while we were delayed a little bit. Uh, I have a few things to talk about up top, and then we'll get right to your questions. Uh, so first of all, to add to information already provided earlier by the White House, at the direction of the President of the United States, fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command successfully took down a high-altitude airborne object off the northern coast of Alaska at 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today within U.S. sovereign airspace over U.S. territorial water. On February 9, North American Aerospace Defense Command detected an object on ground radar and further investigated and identified the object using fighter aircraft. The object was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. U.S. Northern Command is beginning recovery operations now. We have no further details about the object at this time, including any description of its capabilities, purpose, or origin. The object was about the size of a small car, so not similar in size or shape to the high-altitude surveillance balloon that was taken down off the coast of South Carolina on February 4. What hasn't been said is where this object has come from. Is there any indication that this was also a Chinese surveillance balloon object, whatever it is? Yeah, so at this point, uh, we don't know the origin of the object. Um, again, we will know more uh, once we're able to potentially recover some of those materials. Uh, but the primary concern, again, was the uh, potential hazard to uh, civil flight. Uh, and so, again, we'll know more later. Thank you. Separately, U.S. Northern Command continues their recovery operations in support of the recent takedown of the Chinese high-altitude surveillance balloon. Recovery teams have mapped the debris field and are in the process of searching for and identifying debris on the ocean floor. Debris that's been recovered so far is being loaded onto vessels, taken ashore, cataloged, and then moved onwards to labs for subsequent analysis. And while I won't go into specifics due to classification reasons. I can say that we have located a significant amount of debris so far that will prove helpful to our further understanding of this balloon and its surveillance capabilities. Uh, really quick, when it was started to be tracked last night, were you able to tell what direction it was coming from? Uh, this, this was traveling in a, in a northeasterly direction uh, when it was taken down. And then one more, um, the aircrafts that were observing it, what, what type of aircrafts were those? I'll have to come back to you. I think I know, but I don't want to make it up from the podium. So we'll come back to you on that one. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate it.